Welcome back, everybody. My name is Trevor Ursulescu, owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Welcome to our very last video in this 30-day challenge series that I am doing. This, of course, is the final video of our Queen Helgar army as well. And today I'm going to be showcasing the Great Eagles, which are pretty awesome. But if you want to see what models we have available right now, don't forget to check us out at www.monster-hobbies.ca to see our latest and greatest on our website. We ship worldwide. Now, let's carry on and take a look at these Great Eagles. Today we're looking at our final two models that I built for the Queen Helgar army, which is kind of appropriate because we are wrapping up this video series. So here we have the two attack eagles. Now these eagles were originally from the Lord of the Rings model set because the eagles that were available for the wood elves were quite, uh, well, I'll show you a picture of them. Here we have the original Great Eagle sculpt, and uh, this is from the 2008 catalog for the Wood Elves. And again, you can see why I chose the Lord of the Rings style eagle instead. Now again, like I said, Queen Helgar is supposed to be in Gairan, and so I figured that the eagles would be quite appropriate. Now one thing that I did want to do was make some Sisters of the Thorn, but I haven't really got those finished yet. And those, of course, can be a Cities of Sigmar unit. However, here on the eagles, you can see the nice paintwork that I added in here and uh, the black underneath on the wings and the brown on top, the orange talons, and then we've got our nice head and beak here. I used actual pictures of real eagles just to get the colors right. And here we have our attacking eagle in flight. And as you can see, this is quite the dramatic pose. It does look just like a predator coming out from up top, ready to attack his prey. Again, from the back, you can see the nice detail work on all the wings and the feathers. And again, this is a very excellent model made by Games Workshop. So from this side view, you can again see the dramatic pose of the eagle in flight sweeping down on its prey. Again, another very excellent model kit made by Games Workshop. Here we have the second eagle of our series of models here. And as you can see, the wingspan is quite large. They do take up a lot of room in my little army box where I carry all the figures around in. This one is not in the attack position, but is in just a regular flight position. But again, he is reaching down for his prey. So this again is one of those great model kits done by Games Workshop. Here's a dramatic side view profile. And as you can see, this again is excellent work by Games Workshop. All the details of the feathers are apparent and it just looks excellent. Each of these Eagle models comes with a clear flight base, which is very nice. It does make it look like it's not on any scenery once you have this over top of some grass or something, and you can see the grass reading through the clear on the round base in the bottom. Again, the feathers on this are excellent, nicely detailed by Games Workshop. And here, once again, is our Eagle from the side profile, the opposite side, the talons are nice as well as they have all the details on them, just like the real eagle. And again, there's the nice face and beak that you can see. The wingspan on this is tremendous. He is quite a distance away from the camera lens here, but up close there. The sad part about these eagle models is they no longer appear in the Warhammer Age of Sigmar order armies. They have been phased out when the old models ended up in Warhammer Cities of Sigmar. However, they did last from the early days all the way up to Warhammer 2nd Edition for Age of Sigmar, where they were still able to be used as a compendium model in an order army. Now, the advantage that the Eagles had in the game were that they could swoop in on an enemy, attack, and then move out of position at the end of the turn. However, in Cities of Sigmar, there are a lot of harassment units that are better, sort of like the free guild uh, outriders who are able to run in and fire shells and then run out but uh, at the time the eagles were pretty good they were good in the wood elf army but all of these got phased out so if you've built these models in the past we want to see your pictures over on our facebook page and i'll leave the link for that in the description below well, I sure hope you enjoyed my build of those great eagles. They were a lot of fun to build, and if you can find the models, go for it. Have fun. This hobby is all about fun. So, find some, paint them, and have fun. 
Anyway, if you like these videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel with all your friends and family. Pound the notification bell so every time I make a new video, you're the first to see it. And check out our great supply of Warhammer models at www.monster-hobbies.ca. And join us on Thursday nights where we play Warhammer right here at Monster Hobbies. So until next time, everybody, happy wargaming.